Hello guys. Hello guys. So today we're going to show you guys how to make a Napoleonic game. First we're going to do is make guns. And to make guns what you need is uh, this historical quarter quarter one. Uh, it's a very nice one. Uh, it's the only really one that I've seen work so far. I'm just going to move this out. <laughs> no, you can't do that. It just stays like that. Darn. So, what happens is, first you have to take it and put it into server script service. This is a bunch of like scripts and stuff. Just other important things. The weapons go into starter pack. And the weapons you want, you take out. And... For this purpose, we'll just get the musket. I just don't, like, just select where the text is. Uh, put it into the starter pack folder, and that's the only thing that should show up. The rest are just there because they're conveniently placed there. And don't, don't go in the toolbox. It's not good. Okay. Let's say you wanted to recreate just a plain battlefield. No, like, a, let's say hills, like a hilly map. You'd want to get your grow, your grow tool and expand it. Now, you'd want to have this here. Then you just simply just expand upon like this. Should take some time though and should be a bit laggy because, you know, generating this much takes some time, especially on older PCs. You should be able to get it done with a smaller one very fast though, so if I were to just do this, it would slowly go up. But it's not as efficient as using a big one. So I'll just, you know, grow it. Let's say this is the peak of the hill. And then the rest is all just going downwards, right? Then we'd slowly have it like go from this higher part here and down. right and you'd probably want to use region though if you want to make like a small let's say you want to make a small fort like up here first you want to do is just flatten out it so it's the same flatten it out so it's like the same so that nothing goes wrong and yeah once you flatten it out you want to make sure nothing is not level because if it's not level, then there's going to be a problem. It's just going to wonk your build out. And you won't be able to build with it. Because it would be uneven. And it that has caused huge developing problems for me. So I really make sure that I've flattened this area out. That I want to build something in. Like, if I don't, I will literally, like, just not be able to build anything because it's broken. And then you want to just click the delete, and it'll automatically delete it. You can just see how like, rough the edges get, and that's, that's what you want for now. Well, let's just say a small hill outpost, right? Uh, you'd want to have properties opened up as well. And also, you'd want to make your explorer a bit smaller. So you can see these properties. Uh, you take your part. And basically you'd want to make sure that the part isn't, you know, like that. We'll, we'll just keep it simple for now. This will be the base. Just the small base of that. We'll color it later. We're going to go full historical on this, so... Don't worry about it. Now, 
obviously you want to put a leaderboard in but for now we won't do that as it'll use scripting i'll leave a link like i'll put the uh i'll put a um script in the description on how to do that just i'll give you the script and you'll find out where to put it i'll, I'll show you where to put it also, if there's any mistakes, please leave them in the comments, or if there's something you don't know, leave it in the comments, and I'll reply to it as fast as possible. Okay, so let's say this is just the thing, and then you have, like, the Citadel here, which I usually like to make it so that it lags less, so I make this just empty and hollow so I can expand it later as well. But for now, we're just going to leave it like this, and then we're just going to pull it out because it's such a small map already, and it doesn't really have much on it. Then you'd want to make stairs by yourself, but uh, just to save time, um, what I will do is make it so that people can, and most likely will, just slowly fall off and just, just you know make really tiny stairs so that like, it still doesn't matter. Making tiny stairs doesn't matter. Okay, you want to have these enabled sometimes, but sometimes you really like need precision. So I'd recommend having that on when you're really like, putting stakes down or something. Um, but the rest, I'd suggest just having that on. Not having like that on is going to be a pain. And trust me, it's it's a pretty big pain to deal with. Just having that. Now obviously you want to like scale this down so it kind of matches that. Now you want to just duplicate because you know you can't just keep down scaling each time. It just gets tedious. And the stairs are already tedious to make. Yeah. The only free model we've used is called Birdies, and really just making your own muskets it takes way way too long. takes too long for people to do that. So I won't color it. You can easily just color it with this color and material mechanic. So we'll just stop it at that. You, that, you guys know how to do that. Then in the uh, model section, you'd want to get this. Uh, do the same process for other teams. Um, so here, you'd want to put same it this doesn't matter but you probably want to do it you'd probably want to put dark blue here um team must not be neutral team color should be dark blue you can enable this if you want disable this hopefully and then in here there should be something that says teams but if there isn't you'd want to go here and add teams and then add a team and then in the team, do the team color this. And when we run it, you should have a working game. If not, we can troubleshoot the problem easily. Because it's very simple to make one of these. It's just that when you're making one of these games, you have to be really careful. See, you spawned here. Now, the musket won't work because you have to have this enabled here. So go into game settings. And then, to uh, avatar. Then you want to force R6 because R6 is the uh, working thing. And then, play it. Yeah, you know, once this loads, yeah, should be pretty well. Yeah, once this loads, you should have a working musket. And that's about it. Because you can just keep doing it. Uh, the last thing I might want to show you is just 
to not do it like just square as people really get annoyed even though there's nothing wrong with that in my opinion and many other people's opinions so when you're doing this always always like just slow it down you'd probably want to do this just add a bit of height and just not simple looking but this does take a lot of time and it sometimes leaks so you'd want to just watch out for that when you're making a VIP or a WIP whatever you want to call it yeah. and it, it does seep in so you can easily just clean that up um, and that's about it hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully you guys helped you goodbye